I've been running into situations where I need to mount my run cam at weird angles, and I was looking to get a tripod, and I was like, hmm, maybe I can find one on Thingiverse, and shazam, I found one. So, this is a all printed in one piece tripod that has a ball and socket mount so you can rotate and hold the camera at any angle you want. So I'm excited to see if this actually works. If it does, I think everybody's going to be happy. Everybody wins. So let's get this off the print bed. I printed this at, uh, they recommended 100% infill. I thought that was a little bit excessive, so I printed 80% and... Um, these parts are solid. They're just about completely, they're 80% solid. Yeah. Oh. Got it. Ooh. That's pretty cool. I like it. Ah. That is what I did not want to do. Dead gummit. Oh good, the other one broke off too. Okay, so we're back. I have reprinted this piece and I think this is gonna work. The other part that I snapped is over here. So let's see if we can get this to not break like the last one. That one worked. So okay. So far we are at the same point as we were at last time. Oh, yes! All right. I feel like I won the lottery. It's actually doing what it's supposed to do. Third leg. Oh, all right. Boom! That's pretty cool. Looks like a little space tripod machine. The ball goes on top of that, and then the clamp goes through there, so let's get that ball for it. Um, there are threads printed in this ball, so I'd suggest running the hardware through it. That way you clean up the threads, or if it's you know, really difficult You kind of get the threads where they need to be. Alright, so we'll drop this guy in. The old spheroid on. I'm gonna leave that where it's rotatable. So now we need to Stick this on like this. Push this through. Put this guy on. So now we've got the tripod all put together. Put this camera on. So let's say I wanted to look over here at this. I can just do that and then bend it down. And cool. That works pretty good. And then when I'm done, I just pick it up, fold the arms in, unthread the camera, and it's a nice, compact, easy to take with you little tripod. It's like one of those little Pixar creatures. I don't know. It seems pretty delicate. If I'm gonna go on a trip, or I'm gonna go outside, and I'm gonna just throw something in my backpack, and I'm gonna wanna use it, and I'm gonna want it to not break and be like, you know, durable, I'm probably not gonna use this one, but it's cool. I think the design of it, it all the shapes, the geometry, it, it looks really cool. Um, the designer had a really good idea of how to make everything work and look like, you know, one of those space robot things. So you got $3 of hardware in this, and then whatever filament and time to print this. Um, if you're needing a tripod that you can use that's about this form factor, you can just go on Amazon and find tripods for relatively cheap that are going to be, I think, a lot more stable or strong or rugged than this one. But they're not going to look near as cool. Up here, the ball joint and all that, that's very strong. It's just these, these joints down here with the legs. That's what I'm going to be worried about whenever I'm using this. But as far as just like a something to put on my desk, I'm going to be like, yeah, I 3D printed that. What's up? It works out pretty good. It, it's a definitely a, a conversation starter and it's something that's it's functional, you just gotta be a little bit careful with it. Recommended print settings for the ColorFab PLA PHA. First layer was 190, then the second layer all the way to the top was 180 degrees. I had my cooling fan on full blast uh, starting on the second layer, and I didn't do a raft, I didn't do brim. Um, I just let it print straight to the glass print bed with the PVA glue. 
I printed at 60 millimeters per second, uh, 0.2 layers, and I printed this one at 80% infill. The Thingiverse creator suggested 100% but I didn't do that. I felt like that was a little bit overkill. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something in this video. If you liked it, make sure and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you get updated when I post new video projects. Also, if you have any questions about this project, put them in the comments down below and I'll be sure to answer them. All right, guys. I guess it's time for me to go get another one of these on Amazon because this didn't turn out as well as I wanted. I will see you next time.